John Elway, good to have you in the studio this morning, brother. Thanks for being here. So this thing started about 15 years ago. Des yep. Describe how how it started and how it felt and, and how you're doing today. Well, I'm doing great today, and and uh, you know it's a uh, you know it's a condition with your hand that essentially pulls your fingers in towards, and eventually you know it gets to the point where you can't you can't straighten at all, and so. Mm. I did get diagnosed with it 15 years ago and realized, and, and really went to the, my hand doctor a long time ago, but there was only surgical options. I'd had enough surgeries, yeah. um, you know, when I was playing that I didn't want another surgery. Then a couple of years ago, found out that there was a treatment, non-surgical treatment, and mm. uh, it turned out it's been great in the last couple of years. It wasn't caused <clears throat> from years of playing football, right? I mean, this this could be hereditary or Hereditary, they not yeah. They really don't know where the cause came from. So, mm. uh, you know, if you have some Norwegian, they also call it Viking's disease. So oh. if you have some Norwegian in your background, that could possibly be it too, but they really don't know where it's, where it's caused. Well, I'm glad we're talking about it because I think a lot of people would assume maybe it's arthritis or something like that when all this time there's a cure that maybe perhaps would help. Not them. a cure. Not I mean, not a cure. A cure. There's <laughs> a, that's you, what there's you said a fix. Let's put it that way. There's there a fix. You yeah. can get it fixed and it, and, it, and it can come back too, but uh, it does have a, the ability and, and it's a, they can do it in the office and they take care of it. Mm. And, and uh, so it's really been a relief for me because what really bothered me when I finally went back to the doctors, I couldn't pick up a football mm. because my hand was my finger was too and for me not to be able to pick up a football was that was an emergency <laughs> is there a chance john that it could return though i mean there you... is a chance that it can come back and so but you can still get get the treatment again if it does come back but you just keep an eye on it and i actually had it in both hands it was worse in my right hand than my left hand but uh, you know we're excited about that uh, you can go to factsonhand.com and find out about it and and get the word out on it that mm -hmm. uh, people don't know that there's a you know there is a fix for it now and so we're in doing the camp campaign and excited to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. It must have felt really good when you could just open your hand again, right, and hold that football? It, it, yeah, it did. It took about three weeks to, to come back, but once I could get my whole hand on the football again, yeah. it really felt great. We should probably point out that you're a paid spokesperson for Indo Pharmaceuticals. That's the company that's... That's the company that, uh, yeah. Okay. Is, but, but they're but raising they're, awareness about this, which is something so many people, I'm sure, aren't familiar that, with. And yeah. that's what we're excited about. And the thing is, if you, you know, this is as common as major depression. And so really not, really? not many people really know about it. So huh, it's really yeah. something that uh, I'm glad to be a part of the campaign to get the word out sure. and have people be yeah, able to yeah. While we're here, treated. let's talk football for just a few moments. Okay. Season's upon us. Uh -huh. uh, of course, season opener here on NBC. Um, the word last week that, that Jay-Z could become a team owner. I don't know if you read this. I don't know if you heard this. There's some talk that, uh, that Hova might actually become uh, one of those NFL team owners. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I think it'd be great to have Jay-Z in the league, you know, and I think that, you know, as a, in the, especially in the ownership of wherever he wants to be with the success he's had in his business career, to be able to add someone like Jay-Z to the NFL and, and an ownership group. I'm sure there are a lot of ownership groups that'd like to have him a part of it. Hmm. And I didn't realize, I was just reading about this, uh, for the 2019 season, all helmets must be NFL approved to improve safety. Talk to me about these helmets. I know some players aren't exactly excited about it, but what's different? Well, it's, yeah, you know, I think, what the league's doing now is trying to make it safer. Sure. And I think the helmets are much, much safer now. And, and so, you know, trying to get everybody in a safe helmet. And they have to be approved by, um, by this committee. And so if they get approved, then they can wear them. Now, your selection is, you know, you have 24 different helmets that you can select from. Gotta, but I will say this. Mm -hmm. As a former player, you get tired of your one helmet. Mm -hmm. and, and it's uh, there are some things that, uh, you know, it's hard to make that change. Sure. The helmets are getting bigger, getting, probably getting a little bit heavier, too. Uh. But it's always hard making that change. And so... Mm -hmm. But the good thing about it is making football, the game of football, safer, not only for players in the NFL, yeah. college, as well as Pop Warner College. Yeah. Yeah. High school. Kids. How are you the kids. about the Broncos and this year? You know, I'm excited about it. You know, we've had two tough years, and so it's always fun to be able to get to this point in time. We'd like to get through preseason healthy. But it's also it's also so fun to be able to start the season and see what we have. I'm mm -hmm. you know you never know, and I'm excited about the team that we have and, and uh, our new head coach Vic Fangio. So and Joe Flacco is our quarterback. Right. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. That's the exciting part of the Joe year. Joe Flacco has been one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL, for, I'd say, for the past decade. So. He really has. You know, he's been there. He's won a championship. He knows what it takes. He's a, he's a great leader. So um, you know, we we have. Great expectations for him this year. With well, thank one you the, for coming. One here. of the game's greats. Thank My you. Pleasure. Thanks, and we're Brad. glad you're I'm doing better. Glad yeah. you're doing Very better. Much. By the way, we put more information on uh, Mr. Elway's medical condition on our website, thirdhourtoday.com. We'll be right back.